Hello and welcome to another episode of TMF Mini and the news for this episode, Family Guy Brian Griffin dies. It's an unexpected plot twist and he eventually does get replaced by another dog but this dog keeps a more stringent tab on Stewie and prevents him from causing as much mischief. There are petitions out there actually trying to get Brian Griffin back but unless they reach hundreds of thousands of signatures, it's not happening, let's face it. And also in celebrating news, Nigella Lawson has been in court, and her first day of evidence given she was actually high out of face on it. To be honest, I'm disappointed in her, because she was actually an alright lassie. And also, another celebrity news, Ian Watkins from Lost Profits has actually admitted to being a paedophile. You know what? It's, that's disappointing too, but it's as if celebrities think, you know what, because I've got a celebrity name I can get away with. Guess what, you can't get away with it, you're as common as muck as everybody else. If you do something, you'll get done for it. And also, in a, um, a slightly different bit of news, research shows if you stay up late and go to bed late, your IQ is a lot higher than the rest of, like, kind of common public. Quite interesting that. And also, in Glasgow news, brony meets are happening in Glasgow. Weekly, actually. And I'm not talking about, like, young kids going, I love li my little pony. And, like, kind of meeting up to discuss whatever my little pony's about, right? I'm talking about, like, grown-up men, 20, 30, 40-year-olds, arranging a meet to talk about my little pony. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but that sounds so Jimmy Savile-esque. It's frightening. And also in the exciting news, we've got comedy in this episode, and that is going to be my first attempt at stand-up comedy. You'll love it. If you're worried about performing to a group of people, my mate actually said, imagine them nude. And I, I thought, what, what if Susan Morgan's in all that dudes? That would be so awkward. Um, recently I've been watching a lot of documentaries on Channel 4 and 5 and all that stuff. And the first one, sadly, uh, was about this guy who couldn't stop the chugging. Right? <laughs> And it, it, it just could not stop. I mean, if I ever met him in real life, you know what I'd tell him? To get a bloody grip. <laughs> and then the next one was called The Night Club Blue. I mean, this is a new loafer channel for. And sadly, I wasn't talking fish. And also, in Channel 5, there was a documentary about the. What was it? About Fat for Cash. And basically, that was about like kind of fat women selling themselves for money. The only punchline I could think to that was fat sluts. And then, back <laughs> uh, uh, a couple of years ago, there was a documentary on about um, the guy that loved cars. And the only thing I could think to that was, holy shit, I hope to God he was never watching Transformers. <laughs> And I was at Asda uh, pretty recently. I tell you something what is utterly frustrating them self scan checkouts. What are they about? I mean, like, literally, like, you're just about to put your first item on and it goes unexpected item in the luggage area. Please remove it. You're like, what the fuck are you doing? Fair enough if I had something in there, but I've got nothing. Stop tripping. Ah! Right? And then um, travel. Basically, recently I was uh, travelling uh, to London, central London, and there's two ways to go. If you've got money, you go by train, and that's pretty awesome. Right? But if you're like me, uh, you being skinned, obviously, you have to travel by bus, and there's two ways to go, either mega bus or your National Express. And I'll put it bluntly, if you haven't to use them two buses to get there, right? Basically, mega bus is basically like getting booted in the balls repeatedly for nine hours. And National Express basically is like 
have a 10 hour session of BDSM with Susan Boyle. <laughs> iPhones. I mean, they, they look pretty nice. They look pretty nice, but essentially they get you fucked every day, right? Not in the, the good sense, in the bad sense. Like, the auto well, connect, I think, is a pain in the tits. I, I text my mate, uh, I was going to go and get some coke as in cola, right? As in CO LA, right? And it swapped it to cocaine. I was like, yeah, oh no. It's going to get me the jail at one point. Movies. I mean, like, the movie industry's gone a wee bit mad, right? Firstly, like, years ago it was Toy Story, then there was uh, the film about uh, Cars, and then there was um, a couple of years previous to that, uh, I was finding Nemo. Then there was a film about planes. Now, it's going to be a film out, well, it's actually been out a few days, and it's about slugs that can go very fast, it's called Turbo. It's absolute insanity if you ask me. <laughs> and I'm going to end it up uh, by telling you a wee joke. What did the hacker say to the block of wood about the nail? I'd tap that. <laughs> And I want to say a massive thank you to one and all for watching another episode of TMS Mini. And I hope you enjoyed the comedy show that I did. And also, the big TMS episode will be up on the 15th of December. And I want to say thanks to one and all again. And keep watching and catch you later.